With the great joy that comes with melting your own aluminum, sometimes you just realize the foundry is too small. Therefore, you need an extension. You will need a metal extension of the proper dimensions, refractory cement, a perlite refractory mixture, a cardboard cement tube, and flashing. Uh, refractory cement is like no cement you've ever handled. It requires a very limited amount of water. Water is critical. Only enough to make it workable, understanding it will be compacted, it is an extremely high slump as far as regular cement. It's not a pour at all. Place the metal form on a flat surface and put the cardboard cement tube in the center. Step one is to place refractory cement into the bottom of the extension and tamp it down thoroughly. Refractory cement should be put on the bottom inner core and top of the extension. Step two, place the metal flashing ring around the cardboard cement tube in the center. Pack the perlite mixture in the space between the metal and the flashing. Perlite can be used to extend the cement but should not be used on any working surface of the extension. Using this mixture of perlite refractory cement could give a lining that could last indefinitely. Pack refractory cement in the space between the flashing and the cardboard tube. Be sure to tamp the cement evenly and thoroughly. Step 3. Remove the flashing ring and pack refractory cement on top of the extension. Step 4. Smooth the top of the extension with a trowel. Let the extension cure for 24 or more hours. Start the foundry at the lowest functional setting and ramp the pressure up 2 to 3 pounds every hour. This process will take all day and the foundry will put off a lot of steam. Once the cement has been fully cured, you can enjoy your new capacity for aluminum melting. Next up, lost bone casting.